All right, hey Taurus, so we are doing the weekly singles read. So for those of you who um, are not with anyone, okay, um, this is somebody new coming into your life. It could be that you've just recently met this person. Um, so we are going to go through the cards that have been pre-shuffled. I've set the intention. I've meditated. So, all right, who you have coming towards you. We have the hermit. Okay. Um, I almost feel, okay, what I feel like is happening is I felt, I feel like you have met this person, um, at a low, um, and this is them, not you, but I feel like they're embodying a low vibrational frequency. Okay. Um, you know, this card is supposed to be about, um, wise, uh, going within. And I do relate this one to the universe. Um, um, but I feel like I, I can't do that for this read. I feel like you've met somebody that's at a low vibrational frequency. Okay. Taurus, um, will the attraction be instant? Okay, we have um, Page of Swords coming out, so I feel like this person, um, I, I do, okay, I feel like you guys are going to be tr attracted to each other, yes, all right, but I feel like this person has some characteristics of, um, like, uh, they gotta, uh, I almost, okay, I'm just going to be straight, Taurus, this is what I feel like, okay, and I didn't want to, I didn't want to go this route, and, but I have to be honest on these reads because this is, um, this is a message for somebody. Okay. Um, I feel like somebody is meeting somebody and, um, they are, um, <laughs> there, there's, um, it's heavy energy. Okay. Um, I feel like you are meeting somebody who is stuck on their ex and I feel like they're, even though they're at their perception, this is, you're healed, you're ready. Okay. But I feel like the person that you are going to be meeting is not ready, Taurus. Okay, this person is, they, they've been hurt. Okay, they've been hurt. They have been hurt by an, somebody from their past. Okay, and yeah, they're, you guys are attracted to each other. I do feel, um, I almost feel like they are, I feel like you are their rebound. Not that you're looking for, you're not a rebound. You don't, you're not in a relationship. You're not um, in pain. This person, I feel like you, is going to treat you like you're going to be a rebound to this person because they are still stuck on their ex. All right. And the hermit card coming out is I feel like they're being unhappy with themselves. They're not happy with their own life, but they're not showing this to you right away. But you're going to find this information out. Okay. We have the eight of store, the eight of swords restrictions. This person, I feel like is bound to their ex. They think that they are bound to their ex. They are not getting over their ex. All right. Um, fear of loss and acting out. This is what they are going to be showing you, um, their true colors. Okay. Um, for the Taurus that I'm talking to and you meet somebody or have met somebody, um, you, you need to talk to this person. And the first thing I would do before you get all into bed with them is ask them how long they've been single. Okay. Because this shit is going to come up in your relationship and you are going to realize that you are nothing but a rebound and they're going to potentially hurt you and you're going to have to start all over on your fucking single journey. Okay, Taurus. Um, let me just go one further. The challenges that are coming out. Look at, we have the 10 of wands endings and the devil card. This person, um, okay. If I'm going to be straight, I feel like this person is using drugs. I feel like this person is on drugs. You don't know it. Okay. They probably drink, but I, um, for some reason I'm feeling like they're doing drugs, like using. Okay. And there, I don't even think that you're going to realize that they're, they're using, and it's going to be something that you're going to see when you guys are in like full blown relationship mode. Um, and the reason why they're going to jump on it is because they're trying to, um, numb. Okay. They're going to jump into something with you because they're trying to numb the past person that they are not over. Um, Taurus, this is not going to be everybody's story. Okay. It's not going to be everybody's story, but it's going to be somebody's. Um, and then I promise we'll do a better story or spread next week. Okay, but what will help? I feel like it's the seven of... Hang on, please. Sorry, guys. 
Um, <laughs> this person, yeah, what will help I feel like is you recognizing their, um, the behaviors, the, the patterns that they are, uh, uh, you're you're going to see some red flags and I feel like that's what the seven of swords is all about. You're going to see red flags and the universe is telling you recognize those red flags and um, walk away, walk away. So when, where, or how will we meet? I feel like this is like in the same area, the same neighborhood, the same apartment complex. Okay. Um, I feel like you, I almost feel like I'm already talking to, I feel like I'm talking to somebody who's already met this person. Okay. Um, and we have two pentacles is uh, uh, winter. So it could be in this winter time coming up. Um, but I, I feel like for some of you, you've already met this person and you need to hear this story. Okay. Um, let me. I hate to be negative, but I can't, you know, it's like, I can't fucking like. I can't twist the story any other way. Somebody's going to meet somebody that's essentially using drugs, I feel like. It could be alcohol, but I feel like it's more drugs. Like, dope, you know. Um, so we have... Um, the moon is cancer energy. So this person could be a cancer. And then we have Pisces. Okay, so um, this person... They could have Cancer or Pisces anywhere in their chart. Let's get some initials. Okay. So initials we have are C, W, R N and O. Um, so it doesn't have to be yours or their first, middle, or last. It could be um, abbreviations for somewhere where you guys met or something significant to you um, with these letters standing out. Okay. Um, but like I said, yours or theirs first, middle, or last in any combination. So just pay attention to those um, signs and everything and just make sure you're asking questions, you know. So Taurus, if you are involved in some type of situation that you're that you're starting to feel like it's questionable, um, you go with your gut, okay? Use your intuition. Um, maybe, go, maybe stay away. Let me pull you guys a message from the guides. We have harmony. You are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. And I feel like that's just a reminder for you. Um, and, you know, I do feel like you're, you're going to be compassionate to this person, but you're not going to be able to fix them. Okay. And I feel like you're just a replacement for right now. So, um, you know, again, that's not for everybody, but anyway, Taurus, I'll leave it right there and talk to you guys soon.